What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. If you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what we can learn from them. So make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I promise you this channel looks at these different stories from a much different angle, all right? And follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. And for all of my loyal Rewired soldiers out there, sorry for the informal video. I'm actually about to take off and head out to Los Angeles. Uh, my good buddy Aaron from the YouTube channel For the Love of Tech. By the way, if you like tech, check out his channel. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. He couldn't make it to the event, so he gave me his ticket. So I will be going to VidSummit. Uh, if any other creators are going, come up, say hi. My goal this year is to meet Leon Lush. Love that man. But anyways, before I took off, I wanted to do a quick update. Um, so my, my channel, I do do commentary and I, I cover news and things like that, but my primary goal is to see what we can learn from it. And there's definitely a valuable lesson to be learned from this. But I also think in order for a channel to have integrity that covers these stories, you need to post updates as soon as possible, especially when there's serious allegations of sexual assault. Um, in my opinion, in the YouTube community, there are far too many, not all, but there are far too many commentary channels, drama channels, news channels who do not update stories. Like once you ring a bell, like we have to update it. But anyways, we're following up on the Cole Kerrigan, uh, sexual assault allegations against Austin McBroom from the Ace family, all right? So yesterday I made a video um, titled, uh, Can We Trust Cole Kerrigan's Allegations of the Ace Family? And yeah, this is a tricky subject. Like I said, like this topic hits very close to home. I personally know many women who have been victims of sexual assault, but I, in that video, I bring up other subjects uh, or, or situations like Slazo or Alec Holoka where these were false ac accusations and it actually led to Alec Holoka taking his own life. Well, this story is developing very quickly, all right? Um, so first thing is there is a YouTuber by the name of John Swan, and he released a tweet. I'll link it down in the description below. But he he kind of takes the, the responsibility of looking at screenshots like very closely to see if they were edited in any other way uh, or in any way at all. And it looks like the screenshots that Cole Kerrigan shared might have been faked all right um and you know again like you know this is john swan doing his own investigation he's not a forensic you know scientist neither am i but i do want all the information to be out there well anyways yesterday um or maybe this morning a statement was released from one of the women who was supposedly involved in this situation where cole was talking about it and she released this over on instagram it says to speak on this video that cole kerrigan posted some of you have already figured out that i'm the other girl they're talking about in the video i feel like this was made for the wrong reasons and this wasn't cole's story to share cole even texted me saying we could potentially get paid a hundred thousand dollars from this following the claim that drama alert was paid $500,000. Swipe right to see text. I wasn't aware Amanda or Cole were in contact with Drama Alert to anonymously run our story, but I was aware of Cole's video being made, and I only wanted it to be factual if it was ever going to be posted. I wanted to say that Austin McBroom is not to blame in the situation and did not rape me or anyone. I'm currently handling this situation in my own way. I brought this to social media to address the false accusation. This isn't what I wanted. There's several sides to every story, and this isn't how I wanted to tell mine. Then here's a screenshot of the text um, from Cole, and it says, hey, sorry I didn't uh, hear you out. You caught me off guard, texting me, and I overreacted. It says, yeah, I get it, no worries. There's some stuff blacked out. And it says, even proof, but the point of this is not to upload the video uh, or a video, the point of this is to scare them into paying us off because they paid Drama Alert $500,000. So I'm sure they would pay me 100,000 or more not to say stuff. And then I would split that with you guys if you help me and send me all the receipts that I need. All right, so this does not look good for Cole Kerrigan. And in a second, we're gonna talk about the importance of understanding the human brain and bias and confirmation bias, okay? But anyways, 
Austin McBroom uh, just tweeted this out this morning uh, and it says, um, if you have not heard, I have recently been the victim of extortion, defamation, and slander. I knew this was a cold world, but never did I foresee something this disturbing upon me. Thank you all of my ACE family members for all of your concerns and thank you to those who know my character and my heart. I don't wish this upon anyone and I can only hope that those responsible for this learn from their mistakes and become better people. My family and I are dealing with this matter privately and taking legal action. Bullying, extortion, slander, and defamation of character is something I will not stand for and I can compromise that justice will be, or I can promise that justice will be served. All right. So here's what we need to take away from this, all right? Um, I highly recommend, I highly recommend that everybody pick up a copy of this book, uh, Predictably Irrational by Dan Ariely. I've been really just diving into the psychology and neuroscience as to why we as people are just so damn irrational. And this book by Dan Ariely is just so phenomenal. I highly suggest that you check it out, all right? But here's the issue. Our brains are wired Okay, they are wired to confirm what we already feel is true, all right? And this is especially bad when we like or dislike a person because we will believe just about anything. So Cole Kerrigan's situation, all right? If those texts are real that were shared about him trying to get paid off 100,000, like think about this for a second. In Cole's mind, because Keemstar came out and showed like the full context of those texts, said that he was being sarcastic and joking. And like, I think anybody can tell, like, I'm not a huge fan of Keemstar, but you could tell that that was a joke, right? But in Cole's mind, because he wanted that payoff, his mind made him believe that Keemstar actually got paid $500,000, which then skewed Cole's motivation to try to get paid off as well, a hundred grand. All right, now, from the statement from Leslie, like, it sounds like something, it sounds like something happened, okay? And as much as I, I'm not a fan of Keemstar as a person, it seems like he really tries to do his job better than he has done in the past, and I, I, I have to respect that. Um, but anyways, uh, go watch the new drama alert. But like, it sounds like something happened, but you can't just go around running stories, especially when it comes to something as serious as sexual assault until all the facts and everything are out. So it sounds like something happened. And this is what I was talking about in my video yesterday. When something like this happens, it needs to go to the proper authorities. It has to. We cannot do the court of public opinion. We cannot do, you know, mob justice and everything like that. Like reading through the comments on my video yesterday, like this is one of the issues is that it, the pendulum has swung so far where it's like, believe everything that you hear, but we have to be careful because this can destroy lives. This can end lives. Like there was somebody who left like five comments on my video yesterday, right? And I tried so hard to word it and, and be empathetic and say, hey, let's chill and like just bring up like both sides. And this person's like, all I hear is that you're, you're being a rape sympathizer and it's like, no, like I'm trying to use my logical part of the brain rather than my emotional part of the brain. It's a lot easier for us to run around and just be extremely emotional. But if any of you have lived more than five minutes, you know that running off emotions purely is never a good idea. So talking about Cole Kerrigan's uh, confirmation bias, we need to talk about the confirmation bias of the community. Like, I don't know because all the facts aren't out there, but it sounds like Austin McBroom is a cheater, all right? That's what it sounds like, okay? We'll probably see more come out soon, all right? And Austin McBroom, a lot of people don't like him. Um, there was recently, I think the most recent thing was like they were jet skiing in their pool and screwing up their neighbor's yards and things like that. But listen very carefully. This is where confirmation bias comes in again. Just because you don't like somebody doesn't mean that you can believe every negative thing about them. And I just, I, I just make these videos because I hope people start to understand, right? Like, look at what happened to James Charles. It went from him being a, a, a shitty friend promoting sugar bear hair to like 10 minutes later being accused 
of being a sexual predator, all right? Like, somebody can be a bad friend and not be a sexual predator, okay? Someone like Austin McBroom can be a cheater and a cocky asshole, but that doesn't mean that he's a rapist, all right? Like, we need to start separating these things. We can't just believe everything on the basis that we don't like somebody, so we're gonna believe everything, all right? Tonight is the democratic debates, all right? So getting into politics real quick, this is how Russia hacked our election last time, okay? Like, they knew how to play into confirmation bias. People will share any headline that confirms what they always already believe, all right? So here's my message to all of you. Slow down and use the logical part of your brain. Do not run off of your emotions. This is what separates us from the rest of the mammals, all right, and the rest of the animals out there. We have a prefrontal cortex, okay, that helps us with logical decision making. And when we run off emotions, we are not using that, all right? But anyways, I gotta head out to Los Angeles. Uh, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter, at The Rewired Soul, for updates, and wish me luck getting a picture with Leon Lush, uh, tweet at him and say, yo, Leon Lush, go, go, go meet Chris from The Rewired Soul. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, uh, I, I will try to upload while I'm out of town from my hotel room, um, depending on the internet and everything like that. But anyways, that's all I got. I'll see you next time.